Chapter 1. You can overcome difficulties if you change your mindset. People will always come up with labels to describe you, which may make you think that something might be wrong with you. Do not believe that. No manual is involved in teaching how to deal with challenges in life. The education system has left out how to use our thoughts, beliefs, and emotions to win life's battle in the field of learning. Therefore, we are not fully equipped to overcome challenges and truly win at life. When we lack proper training, it becomes impossible to use the intrinsic power we have, and all the problems can be fixed. According to Maya Angelou, do the best you can until you know better. Then, when you know better, do better. Constantly, creative people find it extremely difficult to complete what they start. They're usually distracted by the numerous ideas occasionally flowing through their minds. You can overcome those challenges and become a winner. Everything is figureoutable changes your mindset to a positive one and also breaks down your goals into sizes you can easily manage. Inside, you will learn how to handle opposition and being real with oneself. Why is it important that you strive towards progress and not perfection? Bouncing back from failure. How to make time for your goals and therefore increase your income. People whose stories have been victorious and how the system of everything is figureoutable has helped to metamorphose their lives. This belief system is more than an ideology but also practice which can make you unstoppable. Chapter 2. Peculiar difference is achievable in the world when change begins with us. It is important to believe in oneself in order to be intentional about change. A single belief system can be used to activate transformation and get our lives going towards a productive change around us. It is no longer possible for us to ignore the challenges and circumstances we sometimes find ourselves in as individuals or a group. There's a certain combination of forces that are forcing us to alter how we live. Such forces are political, social, societal, and economic in nature. Statistically, more than two-thirds of U.S. citizens are not actively engaged at work. Also, looking beyond poor economics, there is the involvement of spiritual and psychological repercussions to the state of things. Consequently, about 350 million people have been diagnosed globally with depression. The suicide rate in the U.S. has peaked for the first time in 30 years. In order to change this trend, one needs humility and courage self-compassion, and the willingness to experiment. One should be equipped with a vivid sense of humor and a lot of patience. All these constitute the roadmap to arriving at a safe destination that is beneficial to you and those around you. The brain is an extraordinary biocomputer that plays a major role in your productivity as a human. It can work for you and can also work against you. Chapter 3 Train your brain for growth by spotting thought viruses and therefore replacing them with growth-minded statements. Identify thought patterns of the mind that prevent one from learning something new and vaccinate against them. The first thought virus is, I know this already, and the second thought virus is, this won't work for me. Instead of, I know this already, think more of, what can I learn from this? And instead of, this won't work for me, think more of, how can this work for me? Sometimes we may be forced to wonder if everything is really figureoutable. For example, a childhood dog that cannot be brought back from the dead. But knowing that growing beyond current circumstances requires opening oneself to new possibilities. Subsequently, three rules will help you in staying focused on your growth. Rule 1. All problems or dreams are figureoutable. Rule 2. If a problem is not figureoutable, then it is either a fact of life or a law of nature. Rule 3. The problem or dream you want to figure out must be something you are passionate about for Rule 1 to apply. Quantum theorist David Deutsch says, Everything that is not forbidden by laws of nature is achievable, given the right knowledge. So test it, apply it, experience it, and live it. Because insight without action is worthless, taking action is the only path to change. Marie Forlow Did you know, the food we throw away every day in our homes, restaurants, and supermarkets is enough to feed nearly 1 billion hungry people. Chapter 4. The power to manufacture reality is given by our minds. The movies, stories, and books we've come across have taken a journey from the world of unmanifest to manifest. 
From formless ideas to concrete reality, the mind is a piece of magical creation machinery and is the birthplace of every extraordinary idea we've come across and even major breakthroughs encountered in human history. Everything in the material world is initially created on the level of thought. Everything that exists in our world exists in our minds first. That is the universal gift that's been bestowed upon us to help shape our lives and collectively the world that surrounds us. The creation process starts from thoughts, then moves on to the feeling. Subsequently, feeling begets behavior, and behavior produces results. Deep inside our thoughts lies an even deeper and more rooted force that directs and takes control of our lives. This deeply rooted, commanding force is our beliefs. They are the hidden scripts that run our lives. It is something you know totally and with absolute certainty. A thought you've consciously or unconsciously decided is the truth. Beliefs are the roots of our reality and our results. Most of our pivotal beliefs are clouded during certain significant emotional experiences, many of which happen during childhood. The more heightened the emotions, the more it's likely to shape our lives. The environment we live in programs our brain with beliefs about almost everything, ranging from love, health, sex, our bodies, money, religion, beauty, relationships, other people, and the world at large. Close experiences to further cement those beliefs about ourselves, others, and the world at large. And naturally, all these beliefs are sometimes influenced by hand-me-down beliefs, both positive and negative, which stack up over time and begin to become stronger and deeply rooted, transforming who we are and what makes up our reality. Also, there are evidence-based beliefs, They are thoughts and ideologies we accept as the truth from authoritative figures and sources such as scientists, clergymen, research studies, doctors, academics, authors, the media, and the general society at large. But as certain fields such as technology, science, and culture progress, so also what we believe can evolve. Chapter 5. Find Role Models Outside Your Immediate Circle Find inspiring examples through biographies, whether alive or dead, famous or unknown. Watch movies, listen to interviews, or even simply pay attention to the good people in your life. You may have no examples in looking for inspiration, yet there is the belief in what possibly burns so brightly in your heart, thereby devoting your life to making it a reality. Roger Bannister breaking the four-minute mile in 1954 is one example. No single person had achieved this goal, yet he believed he could, deep in his heart, and so he did, making countless others follow. Research has shown how belief affects our physical well-being and our cognitive performance. Your beliefs are the commander of your behavior and your results. They control our bodies and how we react and respond to crisis, opportunities, and criticism. The fact that our beliefs and reality cannot be connected It affects you physically, emotionally, financially, spiritually, intellectually, and so on. Knowing in the long run, your beliefs determine your destiny. Every belief has its own sequence. It could either heal you or it could harm you, or basically, it could either support or thwart your aspirations. They become your source of liberation or limitations, and it doesn't matter what is true. All that matters is what you believe. So when you change your belief, you can change everything. While our potential as individuals is unknowable, what we know for sure is that limiting beliefs guarantees limited outcomes. Marie Forleo Did you know, we choose to spend more money on ice cream each year, a whopping sum of $59 billion, rather than the basic human dignities of education, healthcare, and sanitation to all humans on Earth for a mere $28 billion. Chapter 6 Excuses are lies that limit who we are and what we can accomplish. Excuses are a stumbling block, and once you discover how flimsy your excuses are, you'll not only gain back enormous energy, but also your power to change. Two common words block our ability to be honest with ourselves, can't and won't. When we make use of the word can't, we begin to behave like victims, powerless against our circumstances as though we do not have control over our time, energy, and choices. But when we use the word won't, we feel behaved and more powerful. You are ultimately the determinant of how you spend your time and resources. Thereby, you feel more alive and free because you're taking responsibility for the state of your life. You are 100% responsible for your life. The responsibility of what you believe in lies with you, how you feel, or even behave. 
The actions of others are not your responsibility, and neither is the injustice that happens to you, but you are responsible for how you respond to other people's actions. Happiness can only last when you take 100% responsibility for your actions and yourself. Imagine if Malala Yousafzia felt she wasn't old enough, privileged enough, or even strong enough to champion the education of girls. Malala was a preteen at just age 11 when she began the fight for girls to go to school. She was only 15 when she was shot in the head and remarkably she survived and addressed the United Nations on her 16th birthday. At age 17, she received the Nobel Peace Prize, being the youngest person to receive such a award. She refuses to let a bullet to the head become an excuse for her to stop advocating for education. You have more power than you think. If you allow them, excuses can be dream killers. They can keep you locked in a prison of your own making. As the adage goes, if you argue your limitations, you get to keep them. We can always find something to blame for our lack of results if we want to. But nothing is more detrimental to our long-term success than an untrained mind. Do not allow any excuse space in your head or heart. Use the stories of those who can become touchstones for your mental and emotional strength. People whose stories of relentlessness and determination of you use to keep your life in perspective. There are two kinds of people in the world, those with reasons and those with results. Marie Forleo Chapter 7 Embrace the actionable version of the acronym FEAR. Face everything and rise. The attitude to fear is what separates those who aspire and those who achieve. Fear is figureoutable. No matter what you change or overcome, fear will surface throughout your journey. The good news then is that unexamined fear is like unmined gold. It inevitably contains riches for those wise enough and patient to pan through the dirt. Fear keeps us alive, and while others are paralyzed by fear, fear keeps others moving. The ability to use fear to your advantage separates those who aspire from those who achieve. Fear is not the enemy. Waiting to stop feeling afraid is. Although it is an evolutionary response by our ancestors, fear does not need to be annihilated. It needs to be listened to and appreciated for the gifts it offers. Sometimes fear is healthy if it inspires you to act. Taking into account a toddler trying to communicate by crying because of the language skills is not articulate. So also, fear tries to communicate using the only tool she has, the ability to make one feel. Action is the antidote to fear. There's no one-size-fits-all approach that works for every individual in every fearful situation. Fear comes in different types of ways, and transforming your fear is more art than science. There are cognitive strategies that can transform fear into a productive and creative fuel. Some of them are Explore fear as your GPS Leverage your language Think about a specific time you failed and mine the gold from that. What are the three good things that came from it? What lessons were learned? What valuable understanding did you now have that you wouldn't have otherwise? Be curious and listen to your fear. The helpful positive signals your fears might be sending you. I win or I learn, but I never lose. Marie Forleo Chapter 8 Not having something clear or meaningful to work towards can bring up a host of other problems. Writing down your dreams forces you to be clear and specific about what you want. Even as basic as it is, most people still haven't cultivated the habit of writing down what is most important to them. Ambiguity is the greatest enemy of accomplishment. Writing down what you want to figure out is a fundamental step to making it real. After listing your top one-year dream, what would you like to change, start, stop, pause, heal, or achieve? Accomplishing these said dreams within the year is not necessary, but you must start now willingly. Focus and get real about your dreams. Select the dream you feel most drawn to from the list you've made. Circle it and ask yourself how important the dream is to you at that moment. Know that you have to be honest with yourself when answering that question. If perhaps you are able to circle more than one dream, narrow it down to one because it is important to narrow it down. That single dream will serve as the training ground to mastering the figureoutable philosophy. Develop the ability to focus and concentrate, and in doing so, you are cultivating a set of mental strengths and behavioral habits that will assist you in accomplishing your goals. 
Trying to multitask at this stage is a recipe for failure and frustration. Convert your dream into something specific, measurable, and actionable. Take small, consistent steps towards your goals instead of procrastinating because progress is better than waiting for perfection. Determining your next three steps and getting started on them. What are those three simple actions to take in getting closer to that eventual goal of figuring it out? What could be done in 10 minutes or less? the first of which could be done right. Focusing on small, active steps like making a phone call or setting up an appointment, and if you must research, how you can make that research more hands-on. Train yourself to move towards discomfort. Put yourself in scary and intimidating situations because that is where the figure-outable magic lies. Always direct your energy, attention, and efforts to what you can control and not what you can't. Here are what will always be in your control. Your words, actions, behavior, attitude, perspective, focus, effort, and every. Also, you are in control of how you respond to certain events and circumstances as they occur, whether you like them or not. Here is what's never within your control. Other people in their words, actions, behaviors, attitudes, etc. You are not in control of the weather, acts of God, or natural laws that govern our existence. Example, gravitational force. Making a lifelong commitment to cultivating social intelligence because at some point, all dreams require cooperation or at least harmonious interaction with others. This includes learnable disciplines like the act of persuasion, influence, marketing, and sales, even when you think you might not need those skills. You can do whatever you set your mind to if you just roll up your sleeves, get in there, and do it. Everything is figureoutable. Marie Forleo Conclusion. Future tripping is an act of stressing over future pain as a powerful catalyst for change in the present. Like asking oneself 10 years from now, what would you regret not doing? Most times we are struggling with how to try and fit into the societal construct rather than figuring out what works for us. Long before becoming a fully functional adult, you are expected to choose one well-paying thing to be, incur debts to get educated on that one thing, and therefore stick to that choice for the next 40 plus years, praying you'll earn enough to one day retire and not die broke. Not only is this idea gross, it is dangerous in many ways, being that many of us aren't built for that kind of narrow, long-term focus. While some of us are happy and devoted to a single field, some of us are multi-passionate creatives. Progress begins with making a brave decision to start even before you're ready. This will therefore fast-track your learning and growth. Actions spawn courage, not the other way around. It generates motivation, so instead of waiting for inspiration to strike, action implores you to keep going. Value growth and learning over comfort and certainty. Do not mistake procrastination for extensive research and planning. Where you will gain new skills and capability is the growth zone. It is where you will acquire strength and expertise and produce new results. Then, the growth zone becomes your comfort zone. Confidence increases and all the things that once terrified you no longer scare you. Your conviction is strengthened to tackle new sets of challenges and begin to embrace the uncertainty, vulnerability, and humility inside every learning process. All these cycles are fundamental to mastering the figure-outable philosophy. All you need to make your dream a reality requires a new skill set, experiences, and understanding doing things you've never done before. Try this. Shy away from making excuses. It will only leave you stagnant and delay progress.